Welcome to this video by IntelliPad. In this video, we will be exploring one of the most powerful features of SQL, the group by clause. The group by clause allows us to group rows based on specific columns and perform aggregate calculations on those groups. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know about group by clause with hands-on demonstration on MySQL. Let me take you through the agenda first. We will begin the session by learning what group by clause really is. Then we will look into its key points. Moving on, we will perform a hands-on demo on MySQL server. Here we will create a table using the group by clause to group rows based on specific columns. At last, we will wrap the session with a conclusion. Now, before getting into the first topic, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Let's dive right in. So now let us start with what is group by clause. The group by clause is a clause in SQL that is used to group rows based on one or more columns. It allows you to divide the result set into groups, where each group represents a unique combination of values from the specified columns. When you use the group by clause in a query, the rows with the same values in the specified columns are combined into groups. It is often used in conjunction with aggregate functions such as count, sum, avg, max, min to perform calculation on each group of data. Moving on to our next agenda, that is the key points to understand what is group by clause. Here are some points to understand about the group by clause. The first one is grouping columns. The group by clause specifies the columns by which you want to group the data. You can include one or more columns separated by commas. All columns in the select statement must either be listed in the group by clause or used with an aggregate function. Moving to the next key point that is aggregate functions. Aggregate functions perform calculations on groups of rows. Commonly used aggregate functions include count, sum, average, max and min. These functions operate on the data within each group and return a single value for each group. Moving on to our next point, that is result set. The result set of a group by query includes one row per group. The columns in the select statement can include the grouped columns and any aggregate functions applied to other columns. Each row represents a distinct group and its associated calculated values. The next key point to understand is sorting. By default, the rows in the result set are sorted based on the grouping columns. If you want a specific order, you can use the order by clause after the group by clause to sort the result set based on a particular column or expression. The next key point to understand is filtering groups. If you want to filter the groups, Based on specific criteria, you can use the having clause. It works similarly to the where clause but operates on the group data rather than individual rows. The group by clause is commonly used in various scenarios such as generating summary reports, analyzing trends and calculating statistics based on different categories or groups in the data. Remember that the order of the clauses in a SQL query is important. The group by clause should come after the from and where clauses, but before the order by clause. Now let's learn with the hands-on session on using the group by clause in SQL. I'm using an online compiler, which will compile MySQL. Now first let's create a table called employees with the columns as employee ID, department and salary. The code for which has been displayed in front of you. The example begins by creating a table called employees using the create table statement. This table has three columns, employee ID, which is an integer, department, which is a string with a maximum length of 50 characters, and salary, which is a decimal number with a precision of 10 and a scale of 2. Now let's run this SQL query. As we can see, the output displays as SQL query successfully executed. However, the result set is empty. 
as we have not inserted any value to the table yet. I have zoomed in to see the schema of the table that has columns as employee ID, department and salary. Now let's insert some sample data into the table. Now going through the code, we see that each row represents an employee and includes values for employee ID, department and salary. Multiple rows are inserted at once using the values clause with comma separated sets of values. Now let's run the query to get the output. We can see that the SQL query successfully executed and however the result set is empty. I have zoomed in to show the entire table. As we can see, it has columns named as employee ID, department and salary with some of the respective values. Now let's move on to using the group by clause to group the employees by department and calculate the average salary for each department. After inserting the data, we are using the displayed query to use the group by clause on the employees table. The select statement includes two columns, department and AVG salary as average salary. The department column is selected as it is used for grouping. The AVG salary function calculates the average salary for each group of employees in a particular department. The group by clause follows the from clause and specifies that the rows should be grouped based on the department column. Now let's run the query to get the output. I have zoomed in to show you the output. Executing the query will return the result set consisting of the department and average salary columns. Each row represents a department and its corresponding average salary. This query will group the employees by the department column and calculate the average salary using the AVG function. The result will include two columns, department and average salary. Now let us conclude this video. To summarize, the group by clause is used in SQL to group rows based on one or more columns. It allows us to perform aggregate calculations on those groups, such as counting, summing, averaging, and more. Remember, when using group by, any column in the select statement should either be listed in the group by clause or used with an aggregate function. That's it for this video. Now you understand the power of group by clause in SQL. Be sure to practice and experiment with it to enhance your data analysis capabilities. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers advanced certification in Microsoft SQL designed by the industry experts. The advanced certification in Microsoft SQL program is meant for developers to master the descriptive language used for relational databases. You will also gain SQL skills that are crucial for excelling in the database management domain. The program is designed to help you master skills such as optimizing database objects, managing database concurrency, and ensuring data integrity. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of SQL.